So Sonic Frontiers recently dropped a little over a week ago as of writing this, and I've had a pretty good time with it. In my opinion, I consider it better than any of the Sonic games released in the 2010s for multiple reasons. I think it has its problems, but I think Sonic Team is starting to get back on track and I hope they continue to make good games. Review scores and public reception has been really good so far, but one video that's caused a bit of controversy online was from Donkey. He basically did his usual shtick and acted like a goofball while roasting the shit out of the game, and at the end of the video, he compared the game's user score on Metacritic to other games with a similar or lower score. All that happened in this segment was the pictures on screen and music. However, people did not take kindly to this video at all. It caused a lot of Twitter discourse, because of course Twitter gets angry over a YouTube video on a goddamn Sonic game, they need something to complain about, that's just what Twitter does. People seem to have come to the conclusion that Donkey's video instructed viewers to review bomb the game, somehow. I am not really that much of a Donkey fan, I keep up with his videos from time to time, but I don't have notifications on and I don't flock to his videos constantly. I decided to give the video a watch after beating the game myself, and I thought it was pretty funny. The only part I really disagree with is the comment about copy-pasting Temple, but other than that, it was just a typical Donkey video. The end didn't really come off as, go review bomb the game. To me, it came off as, maybe I'm wrong or out of touch, this probably is a good game after all. Keep in mind that he didn't speak a single word during this last segment. It was just a song from Frontiers playing while pictures of user scores went by. There was an influx of negative reviews on the Metacritic page, but some of them seem a little sus, if you ask me. Some of them have names like Donkey Lover 69 or Donkey Fan 123. Obviously, I'm not saying that not a single Donkey viewer went and left a negative review, it's probably happened, but why would they name their fucking Metacritic account Donkey Fan? Clearly, a few Sonic fans, not a lot, but clearly a few, tried to review bomb the game and blame it on Donkey. It's kind of obvious. Review bombing in and of itself is a very strange practice that I've seen online. PlayStation fans tried review bombing Astral Chain. Xbox fans tried review bombing Marvel Spider-Man, the list goes on and on. Public review pages that don't require a purchase of said game are often subject to review bombing. Oftentimes it happens because a majority of the public disagrees with something the developer or publisher did. The Last of Us 2, VR Chat, Cyberpunk, Fallout 76, it's not a new thing. But this situation with Sonic Frontiers is just fucking dumb. Donkey decided to take a piss out of the game and say that he didn't like it. That last segment was not instructing anybody to do anything. Donkey has nothing to gain from a Sonic game having a bad reputation. If you honestly think that Donkey is seething with drool pouring out of his mouth because the blue rat got a good review score, you're a fucking idiot. And for the few Donkey viewers that probably did go and review bomb the game, you're also a fucking idiot. Have you seen this man's content? He doesn't take anything seriously. He is a comedic creator first and foremost. He does do traditional reviews, but his opinion is not the final say, it's just his opinion. And his Sonic Frontiers video wasn't a traditional review from Donkey, it was a compilation of dumb things happening in the game. That's not a review. Stop taking a single YouTube video so seriously and enjoy the game you want to enjoy. I enjoyed the video and I also enjoyed Sonic Frontiers. But this isn't just a Sonic problem. With the way social media interaction has deteriorated, people act like fucking cavemen over video game review scores now. Just before this whole situation happened with Frontiers, a journalist from IGN Korea gave God of War Ragnarok a 6 out of 10, and PlayStation fanboys harassed the hell out of him. Say what you want about the abysmal state of mainstream gaming press, but this dude did not do anything wrong. I think this Donkey situation is even more retarded because Donkey's video about Sonic Frontiers wasn't even a typical review. You can say Donkey is biased, that's a really fair argument, but he didn't instruct anybody to review bomb the game. Get that tinfoil hat off your head. That last segment of his video comparing the user score of Frontiers with lower scores like Elden Ring, if anything, it's like a punchline the entire video is leading up to. It's as if he's reflecting on himself asking if he's the one that's wrong. But I guess Twitter-dwelling mouth-breathers came to the conclusion that the funny spaghetti Knackman is this villainous troll to the Sonic community that hates everything about the franchise, and they managed to stir up a controversy out of it. Look, the video is obviously biased, and there are a few parts where you're wondering why the fuck did he fall into the crack, just jump off the edge of the rock, you idiot. But have we really fallen so low that we're willing to antagonize a public figure over a fucking Sonic game? Don't focus on one bad review, if you can even call it that. Focus on the fact that this is one of the best Sonic games that we've gotten in a long time. Log out of Twitter for five minutes and think positive for once in your life. And if that video really got your panties in a wad, why are you giving it so much attention? If anything, Donkey won in this situation as his video got more views and he made more money off of it. He's gotten into controversies over his videos before. This isn't the first time that it's happened and he can easily wiggle his way out of it. Donkey is biased. He has his tastes and his takes. He's not exactly this high IQ journalist standing on a soapbox. The dude makes prank calls and he laughs his ass off at the dumbest shit. The only times when he's serious and wants to give a genuine take that's intended to spark discussion is when his videos have Dunk View in the title. Guess which video doesn't have that in the title? Sonic Frontiers. 
you don't have to like the video. You're allowed to like Sonic Frontiers. Obviously, the majority of the public, including me, is enjoying it a lot. But don't let this obviously biased piss take ruin the game for you. And again, he didn't tell anybody to review bomb anything. Also, if you go to Metacritic for reviews, you're not very bright. As easy as it is to pass it off as the Sonic fanbase being salty, obviously that's not true. Not all Sonic fans lash out at anything negative that's said about their precious video game that they spent money on. Most adults with an IQ above 3 will ignore the video and form an opinion for themselves. As a Sonic fan myself, I can laugh at the video for being funny and move on with my day. I really enjoyed Frontiers. It took me about 14 hours to beat and I had a blast for a majority of it. I really do recommend the game regardless if you're a Sonic fan or not. Even if you're mad at Donkey's video, ignore it. It doesn't affect you in any way. Grow up. I promise you that one video made by the Nat guy isn't going to tarnish all the goodwill that's come out of Sonic Frontiers. It's not that deep.